Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install ADB on Mac. Now, just to make sure we're on the same page, ADB stands for Android Device Bridge. It's a way to communicate, interact with your Android device. So if that's something you're interested in, let's get on into the tutorial here. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is download the zip file for the ADB platform tools. We can either do that through a web browser, or if you wanna have a little bit more fun, we can do it on the command line. But let's first go ahead and ensure that we don't have this program already installed. So we can just type ADB in a terminal window and that command's not found. Okay, let's get that zip file. So we can use wget to do that. And the URL is this one as follows. I'll have it linked down in the description below. So go ahead and execute that. And you'll see that we have that zip file now on our local file system. Let's expand it with unzip in the name of the zip file. So unzip platform tools latest darwin.zip. And that'll explain everything out into a directory called platform tools right here. Now we're going to put this in a, you know, permanent location. You can either keep it where it is if you're not going to move it, or I recommend to put it in the ETC directory. So we're going to need sudo access to do that because everything in the ETC directory is uh, pretty much locked down and restricted. So go ahead and type in sudo move platform tools. You're going to move it into the ETC directory. So now we have inside the ETC directory are platform tools. And in there we have um, a bunch of programs including ADB. Now, if we still type in ADB on the command line, that command's not found, that's because it's not part of our path. So let's add it to our path. We can add it to our path by editing the ETC paths file. And we'll also need uh, sudo access to do that. So type in sudo ETC paths and hit enter, oops. Um, we have to edit it. So pick an editor of your choice. So for me, I'm going to use vim, sudo vim, etc paths. And then down at the bottom, you can type in etc platform dash tools and go ahead and save the file. Now we might have to restart terminal. You might not. So type in adb. It's not found. So let's exit out of terminal and just close it out for good purposes and then open it back up. And now we can type ADB and you'll see that it is reading our path. It found that program in there and we can now do stuff with ADB. So guys, that's all I got for this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to help you out. And I'll have a couple more videos along the lines of ADB using it to interact with your phone, send files, receive files, et cetera, et cetera. So if that's something you're interested in, consider subscribing to this channel. And if you do, I will see you in the next one. <laughs>